Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo. I'm back in my um, campaign of I'll find the Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we just fell through a, a cliff that was made inside the city by the demon lord um, and down there we found some monsters and now we just found a monitor lizard um, this is interesting they are quite strong it's a level 3 animal so what we will do for now is give Philomuka some boost before attacking it and you will do this on you rely on me uh, what's that smite evil I don't think that um, lizards are evil okay Okay. This attack it. No you reason to pause. Attack it. Well, you move forward. Ah, oh, I forgot to shoot at it. Oh, seven points of damage. That's great. You know, Mucus, you're a good pig. I didn't hit. Can you do the run well? Yep. Interesting. Okay, probably we should turn this off. Ho oh, ho, 10 points of damage. Phenomicus, you are such a swine. Oh, come on. Didn't hit. Ooh, Camellia, six points of damage. Nice. Um. Okay. Just one little lizard's chaos, but we'll have to skin it. Ah, oh, we didn't do the check. So it shows us what check we could have and what we could get, but we don't get because we are stupid. There is a person and it's green. That's good. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. Mm -hmm. As soon as he steps into the circle of light, however, <clears throat> you realize that you have never encountered a creature like this before. The stranger looks like the work of a beauty sectionist who attempted to stitch together a lizard and a man. Oh, like a monitor. Lizard. Okay, the man notices you and freezes, curling horn protruding from his head, casts a main wall and shadow on the cave walls. Okay. Hmm. 
Lan, did you find it? Who is that? Oh, she doesn't look nice either. The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait, they might know what's going on up there. Um, who are you, tieflings? Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We you think are so? the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Ah, uh, yeah, because and that's the reason why you live in the underground. That's like Futurama. They are the mutants banned from the surface. Sadly, underground crusaders <laughs> is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> <laughs> You just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. Mm -hmm. But we call ourselves Neethers. Whatever Neethers means. I... As I'm not... No matter what you call yeah. us, it's not gonna stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. Okay. See? Evil attack. That's always the same. Ah, oh, if you if you're playing evil, then you'll have to attack all the time, everyone. Hmm? Oh. If evil people will attack everyone all the time, I've never heard of underground crusaders In before. Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. <laughs> Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are and they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. <laughs> Um, what is this place? What are you doing here? That's none of your bit. Okay. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. A sword in a rock. That's so cliche. The they figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Mm-hmm. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sol, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. Okay. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? She seems nice. I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. Okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of which... You're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Okay. Okay, this this doesn't help because the, now we have even more options to ask things. Okay, let's let's talk about Kenna. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. Okay, do we? You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. 
I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabres. People are dying up there. Please, yeah. show us the way out. This is much more important than your your stupid lives down here um, in the sewers of Canabres. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll keep this uh, Futurama theme thing. They are the mutants in the sewers of Canabras. That's good. Um, yes, there are other ways up, but they are far from here. And after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders. That the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. Okay. <laughs> Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. Okay. I'm the only <clears throat> one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. Or to a good air condition. When the ceiling and walls started <laughs> shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them mm -hmm. that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. Okay. It's all of the whole. Came here with its owner a long time ago. Fifty thousand gongs, to be precise. Fifty thousand gongs, whatever that means. Probably they. Seventy years yes. ago, in Uplander time. Uh -huh. Thank you, Len. Fifty thousand gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe <laughs> gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Okay. I'll Maybe the angel too will far. dig himself out and find the sword for us. That might be our best shot in this chaos. Okay. Len, watch your tongue. Okay. Well, uh, what is this? This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this. Trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. <laughs> this is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. Uh, as any other mutant. Are not lived in vain. Huh, the first crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. Mm hmm We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help you. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. Yeah, the because we be want to get to out of this looks, uh, conversation. Sorty. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? Yeah. What? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. <laughs> yeah, well, underground monsters. Okay, so they don't join us.
this is grinding stone, whatever this is. An item of interest, a craftsman or a collector. A merchant would pay them. Whatever. <laughs> what a find! A handful of gems, okay. Is there anything we can look at? Yeah. What's that? This room looks like an improvised museum or perhaps some kind of temple. More stuff. And that's a copper ring. A law religion check. Has anyone of you law religion? Statue of an unknown knight. The technique is crude, but the figure was uh, clearly crafted with a feeling. Judging by the style of armor, the knight is from the first crusade. There is loot. It's moss and this. Okay. Uh, there is the more stone. Okay. I mean, they should know. Now, what is that? Three pearls. And another loot. Hey, we found the sword. Yay. Yeah, that's just... The strange flesh pierces the gloom and slightly about us. Feels drops of searing blood run down his chest. Okay, that's um, as with the last game. There are some sequences. Oh, and the cat. I, everywhere. Ouch. <laughs> okay, in the Kingmaker game, there were some sequences where you didn't have to fight but do such, such things. A uh, hazy scene appears, a cave chamber, this one or another one entirely. Slightly but fast's heartbeat quickens and a stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into his mind. But clearly belong to another. Treachery, they betrayed me, trapped me and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies with treasured friend my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect, for whom I descended from heaven. And came to this turbulent mortal world. Okay. So it's the angel. Okay. There they are, up ahead in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Do they believe I'm about to die from their traitorous blows? Next to me, quiet moan. Girl with a golden braid lies on the rock, clutching her slashed side. She refused to join with the traitors and paid dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not. Whilst I still have strength, I must. While recognizing the foreign origin of this fo these thoughts, Lati but fast intuits that he can control them somehow. Let's try to heal the wounded girl. Furiously call out the trait. Well, let's hear it. I mean, we're an angel at the moment. A spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene for Thought About Fast. The wounded girl opens her eyes and whispers, Lariel, you, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever. 
Is that true? If any of foreign thoughts comes faster, like a rushing river, and images flash by one after another. A priest in colorful robes observing the star, a young female pallet in green clutching a glowing sword, a majestic golden winged angel gazing into the distance, his face covered by a helmet, but his wife's ribbon pure. Only if you're willing and only if you're ready. No going back. Then don't waste giving me. Girl whispers, a mission is more important. You take care. It is near. Really? There in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within its depths. Dark shadow and outline, a nightmare come to life. A wave of odious chirruping and rustling emanates from the shadows. A sound piercing like hot irons lancing through flesh and bone. The traitors fall to their knees before the shadow in reverent eggs, and the wounded girl trashes her death throes. The yawning chest wound burns white hot, Startabout Fast's head pounds with pain, and it is no longer clear whose pain it is. The person called Lariel, who sent this vision, or the one unlucky enough to receive it. Okay, we can do a will will save. Yes, will plus four against ten. But start if our fast is determined to fight off the illusion or knowledge arcana. We have a plus one there. How to resist many line influence. Such as this, no matter. Yeah, let's take this one. Succeeded at a will check. Force of the attack, though originating in a vision, is terrifying. It's not about fast. He shakes off the pain and torpor, but alas, one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken and monstrous shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. It is not real. It exists only in the strange vision or memory, but the thrill of fear is provo it provokes is not unreal. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of Descari, a terrifying demon lord, in a movement as swift as thought itself. The monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one they called Lariel. The foolish angel struggling on the rocks, like a fly with its wing torn off, it turns the shadow. Voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whispering to a sonorous shadow, becoming young and then old and quavering. There, where is your goddess, angel? Where is her self assured herald? How is that you are dying here alone, so far from the light of your heaven? Okay. <laughs> A strange calm envelops the thoughts of the one called Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him and he knows he will never bow down before this enemy. Flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright pure flickering with multicolored sparks like a sun through stained cloth glass slash. The blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh once the recoils with a howl releasing his grip on Lariel's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rock. His vitality is ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips it the sword and with his last burst of strength plunges it into the rock. Start about fast, senses vision is fading, the rush of thoughts diminishing. Why didn't he plan it into the demon lord if he can't touch it anyway? The last thing he hears is this. You will kill me, monster. This I know. But one day someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will raise it up and... 
punish mutant traitors or even protect mutant. Uh, yeah, well, we save and protect. But we save and protect everyone, also the evildoers. The vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of colors. Slightly but fast does not hear the final words, but he seems to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from his lips and something else. The heat blazing in Slightly but fast's chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Slightly but fast sees the flaming sword in his hand. What do I do with a sword? I'm a... Yeah. Or rather its outline. The memory of what the sword looked like. With a final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes and the light is drawn into the end. Slatibad senses that it will return. All he needs to do is call it. Okay. By which name? Okay. Hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. Yeah, I'm in Azima now. Tia kneels before the light, offering up a prayer to Iomida. Okay. That, that was it. The light of heaven. But how? Yeah, well, I'm just cool. What did you do with it? Where did it go? Um, I'm really good with my hands. <laughs> my last character uh, was really good at um, getting things uh, her hands. She was a gambler. <laughs> you needed that there. Uh, what's it? What's the... I'm not sure what's the skill. I mean, the skill doesn't exist here. Uh, slate of hands. <laughs> you saw it too? The traitors, the dying girl? I think I saw the memories of Lariel again. Lariel? That really was Lariel? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be killed. <laughs> you. Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood, no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Yeah. Now, now, Wentwag, don't be a sore loser. He is clearly different from us. The yeah. sword appeared before him. I don't Along have strange horns and other stuff. spiders. Because he doesn't yes. carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. Yeah, see? Mutants are all evil. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but... You and Sol, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Um... Really? I don't want the angel mythic path. Reveal the light of heaven. Oh, uh, yeah. It's only us here. Your group. You, me, Wendu, and the light of heaven that sort of got, uh, sucked into you? Any chance you can whip it out again? We do kind of need it. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous. Okay. When I'm upset. And when I'm happy. Anyway, what I said, it came out wrong. We need to bring you to Chief Sul. You can show everyone the light of heaven, we'll rally the tribe and go into the maze and we'll get back our kin. 
And mm -hmm. what if he can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. Okay. Seems like I can control it. Can I? That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven Can I truly give it to someone you. else? <laughs> this power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Well, it was just a light effect. Is this what it was the a light sun spell. Is like, mm, it's a good light spell. Yes, it's similar. But this light is more... golden? How do you know Jeff how needs to see this? Now how that we have the, the sun folks if you are here for 70 he years. Say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Okay. Is to achieve the Let's go. Side. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. <laughs> oh, God. No, no! There is stuff I can take with me. And more stuff. Okay, we have them two as well now in the group. And they just... With my poor... Okay, um... What can you do? Protection from evil, nice. So what are you? You're a Zen Archer. Okay. So you should stand in the back as well. And you're a fighter. Okay, you should stand in the front. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's put it like that. Can we go? Why did you go there? Ah, there's a mobility check. Okay, let's let's move there. Anything else? No, probably not. Then it is finished. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't show this real anymore. Hmm. Why is this? Ooh, giant spider. Looks not. What can she do? Uh, level 3 vermin, not too bad. And we are now six persons. So you perfect strike and point blank shot. I am prepared. You know who kiss kill. Where do you want me? Ah, oh, you're also a uh, ranged fighter. Okay. You can trust me. 
Oops. More spiders. Okay. And let's kill them. Oh, interesting. There's only one spider. What's with the other two? A young giant spider. And a giant spider, okay. So there they are, now they are seen. She's still flat-footed, so let's attack her. Okay, let's... Mm -hmm. Oh, this was new. Giant spider dies. Yes, die, giant spider. Already attack arms. Interesting. New round. Um, yeah. Camellia. Kill her. Okay. That was easy. Easy. There's some loot. What's that? A bit sore. Mm -hmm. Cost gold and some fairy mushroom. Okay, here is more loot, coal, and bone meal. Okay. okay. Um. I will probably stop here for today. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other again soon. Until then, bye.